Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, rising Republican star and the friend everyone ignores in the group text. Green is known for her history of deranged beliefs, ranging from racist conspiracy theories about Jewish space lasers to supporting calls to execute Democratic politicians. Now, Democrats can't stop her from serving in Congress, and they definitely can't stop her from saying crazy shit. But today, they decided to give her just a little less input on running the country. Tonight, House Democrats taking an unprecedented step, voting to strip freshman Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, a member of the opposing party, of her committee assignments. She's going to be removed from the House Education and Labor Committee, as well as the House Budget Committee. She's going to be a member of the House of Representatives for the next two years, but she's going to be a member without being able to serve on any of these committees. Yes, people, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been kicked off her committees. But if you think about it, This is a pretty sweet deal for Green. Basically, her punishment for acting insane was to do less work for the same amount of money. And honestly, I think kicking her off these committees could actually backfire. The last thing you want to do with a crazy person is give them time to be crazy. That's why they should put her on all the committees. Then you'll never hear from her again. Excuse me, when are we gonna talk about those Jewish space lasers? Well, no, first we need to discuss the budget for the asphalt acquisitions. Uh, Sharon, do you have the reports? I don't know. Do I have time to report, bitch? Oh, come on. I didn't say that. That was Yashiro. So Democrats have made their position on Marjorie Taylor Greene clear, but Republicans are a different story. While some prominent senators have spoken out against her, House Republicans held a meeting last night where they decided to stick with her, or at the very least, look the other way. House Republicans hosted a marathon meeting overnight. There's a lot of questions that have to be answered, and we've got to be able to do that in a family meeting to help bring people back together. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who escaped any punishment yesterday over her very extreme views, including endorsing political violence, an anti-Semitic falsehood. Sources say Green was given a standing ovation from half of the members in the room after she expressed remorse for some of her past comments. So I think it would be helpful if you could hear exactly what she told all of us, denouncing QAnon. I don't know if I say it right. I don't even know what it is. Um, any from the shootings. She said she knew nothing about lasers or all the different things that have been brought up about her. Damn, Kevin McCarthy, he's a GOP OG. I didn't hear shit, didn't see shit, and I definitely don't know shit. She. It's truly amazing that this guy acts like he doesn't even know what QAnon is, even after they tried to kill him. I mean, most people would have at least Googled them at that point. Like, eventually, Carol Baskin must have been like, okay, I'll bite. Who is this Tiger King guy? Because, I mean, I should figure this out, right? And it's not like these guys don't have the time to research conspiracy theories. Because when it comes to Hunter Biden, they remember every word like it's the lyrics to their favorite song. The Burisma emails decrypted from the Delaware laptop have been verified by Tony Bablinski. But then ask them about the biggest right-wing cult in the country, and they're like, uh, Kunan? Kwahunana? Man, who can keep track of this stuff? But to be fair to Kevin McCarthy, he's far from the only Republican who'd rather look like a dumbass than take a position on Marjorie Taylor Greene and her crazy beliefs. Although some Republicans are a little smoother at it than others. Newly elected Senator, arch conservative from Alabama, Tommy Tuberville tells CNN he doesn't know anything about the Congresswoman because the bad weather kept him from reading the news. It's traveling this weather, it's been a little rough looking at, looking at any news or whatever. <laughs> really? He hasn't been looking at the news because the weather's been rough? I know it's Alabama, but Is this dude getting his news by stagecoach? It's been so stormy, the Pony Express hasn't made it out here with the latest tweets. Clearly, Marjorie Taylor Greene has become a distraction and a liability for the Republican Party, which is maybe why she decided to step up on the floor of the House today and disavow many of her past insane beliefs. When I started finding misinformation, lies, things that were not true in these QAnon posts, I stopped believing it. School shootings are absolutely real. And every child that has lost those families mourn it. I also wanna tell you 9-11 absolutely happened. So that I definitely wanna tell you, I do not believe that it's fake. Ooh, looks like someone started listening to the reasonable voices in her head. Although this woman is so crazy that her saying that 9-11 happened makes me go, wait, 
did it. But hey, I'm glad that she's come around to the standard Republican belief that school shootings are real and that nothing should be done to stop them. But you may not want to give Green too much credit for disavowing these conspiracies, since it turns out she doesn't take responsibility for believing them in the first place. What I did is I started looking up things on the internet and I stumbled across something, and this was at the end of 2017, called QAnon. I was allowed to believe things that weren't true and I would ask questions, questions about them and talk about them. And that is absolutely what I regret because if it weren't for the Facebook post and, and comments that I liked in 2018, I wouldn't be standing here today and you couldn't point a finger and accuse me of anything wrong. Wow. I've never seen someone try to delete their browser history in real life. But yes, you see, it's all Facebook's fault for allowing her to believe in those things. So don't blame her, blame Mark Zuckerberg with his social media lies and his space lasers. And look, man, Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't the first person to believe things that she read on the internet, but her defense isn't really reassuring because basically what she's saying is, yes, up until now, I believed that school shootings were fake, 9-11 didn't happen, and that Jewish space lasers blew up California. But that's only because I'm incapable of separating fantasy from reality. So let's do the right thing and let me go back to making laws.